Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is for my pen pal, Sam, um, as this month's colour theme is lilac. So I have made her this card. Um, to make today's card, I'm going to make it in Calypso Coral. So for that, you'll need a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half. A piece of Calypso Coral at uh, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. A piece of white at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. And a piece of gingham at 3 and 3 eighths, 5 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. Stamps that I'm using is a brand new one, Bloom and Grow. It'll be available at the beginning of June. I can't remember if it's the 3rd or the 4th of June. I'm also using the background stamp Crackle Paint, as I like this. Um, this is Take Two, as I had a major accident the first time. So I have done Stamp the Flower. But I will stamp another one. That, at least that one would be dry for colouring. So I'll stamp another one and we'll do the background. So to stamp the flower, which is quite big, it's quite a big flower. Move them away. So because it's a big flower, I'm taking the ink to stamp. up and push it down and leave it for a little while. There we are. That looks pretty doesn't it? So leave that to dry while we get on and do the rest of our card. this for now. So leave that to dry and we're going to do our background. So with the five and five and a half by three and three quarters we're going to stamp that in Calypso Coral. But I want a second generation. I don't want the first so ink it up and with my scrap piece of paper I'm going to run it over and then place the card on it and get ink all over my fingers Just what I want. I'll close this up. I'll wipe that down afterwards. Right, the sentiment goes on the bottom, but I want it to stand out, so I'm going to use Cajon Craze. On this one, I did the sentiment in Grape, Gorgeous Grape. Whereas the background was done in Highland Heather. So I am going to do that in Cajun Craze. Right. Ink it up. Let's hope I've got this right and it will show up. And stamp it down. Oh, great. That 
colour has stained the stamp. <laughs> I thought it was only pinks and reds that did it. Right. And that is as far as we can go with that. So we can stick that on our Calypso Coral. I'm just wasting time so I know my black ink is dry on my flower so I can colour it in. My glue's running out. I don't have another bottle. These bottles I bought in a, bought in a pack of three from Amazon. Right. Put that to one side. Right, on my first take I did stamp the inside little, just a little uh, sprig of flowers. Right, bring this back and we're going to colour in this one and we're going to use Old Olive, Daffodil Delight Light and Dark and Calypso Coral Light. So do the Daffodil Delight and colour in middle of my flowers the clips of coral all I'm going to I'm not going to go right up to the edge of the flower I just want a little white border on the end of my flowers Oh, that's a leaf. Just taking it up to the edge where we haven't got much of a petal, I just do a little bit. There's one there. Just a little bit there. Doesn't need to be straight. I'm sure flowers in the wild don't have that belongs to you. Don't even know what kind of flowers these are meant to be. like that with the white tips. Oh, missed one. Yep. And with the light 
Daffodil Delight. I just colour in these buds. And then with the old olive. Did I do them too? I did, right. I'll just do these one colour. On the other card I did the leaves. Some in old olive and some in mossy meadow. Oh, I missed a bud. That looks quite pretty, that. Yeah, I do like that. What do you reckon? Quite nice. Right then, so we need to cut that out, as I have got the dies to go with this, and it's that one. These are the new dies, as Stampin' Up! is not with Sizzix anymore. I don't know what company they use now, and these seem a bit thinner, but they work. And I also used these two. They're like a give a scalloped edge. I'll show you what I did with them. So they go on here. And what I did was I taped them on there and they give me a nice scalloped edge on the paper. I shall show you after I've cut it. So let's bring the big shot up. And place the flower in. Some people says you might need a shim for some of these dies, the new dies, but I haven't found any problems with them yet. That's quite pretty. Right, I shall keep that other one. Right, with this, what I did was I put one each of these scalloped edges right on the edge of my paper, tape them down, that's why there's two bits of washi tape on here, and 
there's a one there and tape it down and I'll run it through come back a block on the floor. Take these off. And take this off. This must have been a fraction of an inch longer than my other one because I actually it actually snipped it all the way off. Didn't have to cut like this. Oh, that one's gone. That's not a problem. I don't know if you can see. Um, what have I got that's oh, white? No. Um, have I got any coloured? I haven't got any coloured card. I wonder if I use my box list. Or you might just be able to see the scalloped edge. Very subtle. But I thought I'd give it a try when I had a look at the dies. And it'd be easy enough if you wanted to do it to extend it onto, say I want it had a longer piece of paper, you could just put them in there and extend the die on. Hmm. I'll have to try that. So put these away. Die away. And these two away. Or you could even do a bit of ribbon. Hmm. Something else I can play with. Right, let's put this together. So, this will sit at an angle, and this on dimensionals will sit on there. Well, like that. Right. that like that. Oh, I know what else. Oh, and if I coloured this in, let's go quickly colour this in. All I did was colour the leaf, the little flowers on it in clips of coral. There's three of them. And the other buds I coloured in blue <laughs> balmy blue I use for them and I'll pop that inside Put a sentiment inside because this card could be used for anything. You are simply wonderful. It could be thank you. It could be happy birthday. Right, one, two. Need some little ones. Where's my pickup? I know someone's going to moan that I'm using far too many dimensionals. Yeah, I don't want it to sag. No, 
I did get one on there. Yep. So. Take all these backings off. So it's really just to pick these lot up off the floor, you can guarantee when I scoop them off the table to go in the bin, one or two of them will go on the floor. Right. And we'll just put that like that. And then we'll add some gold gems on this one. Our usual three on there, one there, one down here. So you have it a new stamp set. Quite a large stamp set. And very pretty, I think. Well, I hope Sam likes her card. Um, all I can say is if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.